weighing in at 163 pounds with a record of one win and two defeats from Freelance Help. MMA in Stewart, Help. Florida, Joey Manu. Manu. Look at this, pronounced And his now. opponent fighting out of the red corner weighing in at 163 pounds with a record of one win and no defeat from Carl Springs MMA in Carl Springs, Florida. This is Carvan C.J. Joseph. 1-0 oh, C.J. Joseph versus 1-2, and two, but two very, very hard contested losses. Uh, for, 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 for Joey Munoz, this is going to be an excellent fight. But this will be the last fight of the evening without ground and pound to the head. So, nice wrestling out of Joey Munoz. The last time we saw him out, carries his hands nice and low, baits up beautiful double legs. I don't remember C.J. Joseph's fight, but I think it was here. Nice hard nice leg kicks, hard but leg kick. there's, that, there's that entry. C.J. had him scouted on that, cross face, shut it down. These guys are almost the exact same size. That's kind of weird. Yeah, they're about even the match there. Oh, Joey's got the neck. C.J.'s out. Joey. Joey's just carrying those hands at the belt line. Yeah. But he ain't looking to box. If he gets if he gets past kicking range, he's looking for a double. Yeah, leg. he's definitely working his way in quick. He's throwing a lot of smoke on those kicks. Overhand rights as well. Nice. Good timing on that double. Yep. Is he not going to oh, he did finish in. it? I thought he was going to get that one stuffed too. That was as deep of a double as I've seen. I think he hit him with that right and then kind of baited him in, ran yeah. from him, and he knew he was going to chase him. So. That was nice. Yeah, that was I was on top, working in half guard. He's it passed, Stepped nice inside, down. got the far side underhook, good position in here. Good shoulder pressure, making him turn away from him. But CJ's about to come out the back here. Yep. Into a front headlock, attacking the, uh, nope, trying to spin to the back. He doesn't, he doesn't feel comfortable with the anaconda set up there. Good job of snapping him down though. Both these guys have kind of similar wrestling styles and similar builds. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the peak out here. Nice front headlock control from CJ here. As CJ comes around. Um, nope, they're back up. Separate. Good little scramble. CJ on takes the a deep breath, puts his hands back up, starts plodding forward. He's got to be mindful of that double now. <laughs> he's throwing that right hand with everything he's got. He needs to carry it over more. I think Joey's throwing stuff, waiting on a counter take. Yeah, and exactly what he's doing. He's, he's just yeah. throwing wild shots, waiting on, uh, on CJ yeah. to come in so he can take the double leg. He changed levels there, got stuffed, threw a right hand, and got out. Yeah, he's entering now. Now he's aggressively entering, and CJ's got him time. Yeah, CJ knows it's coming. He's not really getting a good jump on it. Knees to the uh, hamstring region. Joey cranking that headlock. Oh, got him with a got him with a head and arm to end the round on top. Definitely enough to win. Oh, he's looking for a tarantula. Nice job of CJ expo ex exploiting the fact that Joey did not have the uh, far side underhook there. It's good first round. Yeah, great first round. This is only uh, this is only CJ's second fight. Doing a good job of staying composed. I think that Munoz. Uh, <coughs> He's trying to bring him in. He's trying to kind of uh, play a cat and mouse game with him to get to get CJ to charge him to set up those uh, those takedowns. Because when, when, whenever he's entering just naked, whenever whenever Joey's entering himself, he's uh, he's, he's coming into underhooks or cross faces, getting shut down. So he's he's definitely playing the game right. And uh, with with only one fight under his belt, CJ's kind of getting goaded into a game he shouldn't play. But but he's trying to land shots in his defense.
They both Brown still look fresh, though. So. Yeah, good. both guys look nice and fresh. Yeah. Round number two started on underway now. A little fancy spin and back kick there. Didn't land. Oh, CJ's nice. getting Anderson aggressive. CJ Yams for a double of his own there. Yep. No, Munial nope. shows the better hips. Definitely the better wrestler here. Absolutely, hips is. Ah, uh, he slides off a mount into it. half guard. You're gonna look to pull that left leg out and get that side position. Maybe not. It was just in. It was just in mount. Attacking that guillotine now, trying to use that to pass. Looks like uh, CJ trying to come out the back. Got his own single, he does. Nice reverse. Nice swish by Munial. Beautiful Great wrestling. Switch. He's backed up in that. He's about to expose that back. Yeah, he's flattened out parterre. Let's see, what's, uh, let's see what Munial can do from here. CJ's got his wrist, I think, locked down. Looks like he might try to pull him over again. Yeah, and I better just stay there. Oh, he's, he's riding legs on him, punching him in the body. Goes to the referee position. Nice knee to the body there. Yeah, real nice knee. Another one. Right hand from both guys. Neither one landed completely flush. CJ doesn't look tired from that. Nice shot. Threw him down. Munyao is definitely showing his wrestling experience here. Half. Now yeah, back in the half guard. Yeah, it was a little easy to jump into the half guard. He's happy there in half guard. Odd whenever he's not allowed to strike. Well, they can do that, I guess. Throw that knee to the body. Yeah, and like we stressed earlier in that Bryson match, scrappy match, full mount, not able to strike in the head is yeah. uh, sometimes not always the greatest position to be in. Yeah, but, but you can also get some submissions from there, though. Yeah. But it is a dominant position, and if it's it an is. evenly contested match, that'll definitely uh, sway some. I, well, I, some I would judges. say I would say that Munoz definitely winning, though, for sure. Absolutely. He's putting himself in a position, though, where he can't even find the body with his punches. Nice, using the knee to trap the arm there, even though he's in half guard. Half guard's wide open. He could pass if he wanted, just yep. sprawl his hip back. He's just sitting back. And yeah, 10 seconds left in the second round. Doing his thing, riding it out. Man, we saw we saw some some good looking wrestling in that round. Yeah, it was a fairly dominant round, I would say. Yeah, for sure. There was some good wrestling out of CJ there. He's just not the better wrestler. Munial's the better wrestler. Good performance there from Munial. That's that's what he wants to do. Once that guy's able to punch the head and throw elbows, though, he's going to be a lot more dangerous. Of course, he may run across a guy that can knee him in the face by that time as well. How are you ladies doing? Esther, how you doing? You enjoying the fight? Yes. Who do you have winning? Um, this guy over here. Munyao. In the blue there, okay. I, I tend to agree with you. Good fight though, entertaining fight. All right, we'll see if CJ can pull something out here in the third round, see if we can sweat these votes or get a we submission. We'll see what happens here. Oh, man, the feint to the double to finish right. it. Just, a, just the better a wrestler. too easy. Clear cut. That wasn't, even, that wasn't even that good of a shot. Just once he touched the hips, he finished it, finished it off. It, it wasn't a bad shot. It's just not as good as the ones we were shooting, yeah, we were shooting last round. that was just too easy to pass there. Yeah, now he's passed. Now he's on top. For sure, Munial is the, but he's just going back to half. he likes the half. half. Yeah, he's going back to half. Yeah. Munial just the, just the uh, just the better grappler here, and he's not he's not letting CJ turn into a striking match. Nice, some nice body shots there from Munial. 
But just the, the dominant wrestling of Munoz told the story of this yeah. fight. He just likes to keep the pressure on, and it's hard to get some good strikes when you're that close. But CJ back to his feet here. Yeah. Munial on the double, looking to rip the, rip the knees, might want to lock the hands. It's like he's trying to scoop him up. Trying to scoop him up. There it is. Oh, but CJ, CJ, he goes down after getting the finger full of cage. He was already on the way down. That's that's a good way to break your fingers. Yep. But it Absolutely. is instinct, I understand. Right here in front of us now, Munial got the underhook. Got the, got, he's digging his head, digging his forehead into CJ's head. Yeah. CJ's got his hips against the cage. Might be pushing away, looking to stand up. If you can get that underhook. Got to be in the last minute here. And Munial has got great hip pressure. Yeah, good hips I mean, here. He's just keeping him pressed to get the inset cage. Just, just wearing him he's out. Just kind of passing between yep. half and side there. What Definitely a weird, in full control. This is an odd position here. Oh, CJ back to his knees. Munial switches off to the front headlock. Yep, he's putting that pressure on Nice, him. That, nice, nice heavy sag down, down there. He's attacking the neck. He's looking to do a trip. I don't think he's going to go for the gator roll here. Nope. He's looking to race back and trip that leg. Trying to drag him back down. But, uh, yeah, man, just bo just wrestling him. Yep. Wrestling, so getting after basically it. Basically leaning all the way back with that cage, too. Yeah, he's just driving him into the cage. He's working the choke there. He's, oh, he's, he's working that Mike Brown, Matt Hughes wrestler headlock choke. <laughs> yeah, good point. I don't yep. wear you out. He's he's on the neck. CJ was showing uh, sh showing like he might want to. Uh, he defended it there. Broke he broke the grip. Nice body shots there from Munyal. Munyal, Munyal just keeping him just keeping him grinded against the cage, smashing him. This is up on the back. Nice. Yeah. I think Joey's looking to just end this right now and wait it out. Nice. There it is. Nice fight. Got his hands up. He knows it. Yeah, that was a fairly dominant fight, but entertaining if you Very entertaining, are. especially if you know what you're looking for when it comes to wrestling. Absolutely. There. That, was CJ Joseph, that was C.J. Joseph's second fight, and he definitely stayed composed, stayed working. Yep, he, he, showed, he showed good conditioning. He did. Especially for a second fight fighter, whenever you kind of kind of take that adrenaline dump out there. He, uh, he, he didn't seem to have that happen to him. Yeah, and for he looks an tired now. For an all wrestling uh, match, that yeah, definitely make wear you tired, out. Man. So he, he looks tired now, yeah. but it's okay to be tired after the last bell rings. He was in it. He was, in, he was in it to win it the whole fight there. Very impressed. He did a good job of not showing he was tired if he was in yeah. that third round because uh, very all yeah. he had. Very good performance. Yeah, I good wish fight. that my second fight would have looked that good. Yeah, that's what I hear. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding, bud. It was a head kick knockout in the first round, so it didn't it didn't look that cool. You think about that? That's why I love you, my friend. Whenever we get our next intermission, I'll show you exactly what it looked like when I kicked oh, him I, in the head. I had a feeling you were gonna say something like that. <laughs> That's all right. I got my tackle in the in the, uh, the back of the truck. <laughs> Throw some lures at you, some old rattle traps or something. Give me in the eye. <laughs> Hey, it's what I do, my friend. <laughs> I can feed the have a needle with a fishing lure from a mile away. To the judges' scorecard brought to you by the law firm of Cushney and McMahon PL. Your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Joey Maneo. Is it Maneo? I don't know. Either way, dominant performance, elementary scoring there. Uh, bumps his record to two and two, evens it out. As Ladies I said, those two losses were hard fought Cowboys decision losses. Barbecue, the official after fight party spot tonight, right afterwards. Please welcome Esther McCoyne. I know that I will be at Cowboys. And if you guys are in the Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce area, area, metropolitan, yep, megalopolis, you guys should swing by all.